my name is Zia Mian. I'm a physicist. I work at Princeton University in the program on science and global security, where I've been for 20 years. And my training in physics, actually in the early 1980s, overlapped with the heightening of the Cold War under President Reagan. And that led to many questions being asked of scientists and physicists in particular about nuclear weapons and the need for the public in democracies to be able to understand what their governments are doing when it comes to the threat of use of nuclear weapons and the possibility that such weapons would actually be catastrophic for humanity. This was also the time that Carl Sagan was introducing the world to the ideas of nuclear winter and what would happen if there was a large-scale nuclear war between the United States and the Soviet Union. So I actually met Carl Sagan. We overlapped in several conferences. And this was a very important time for scientists to think about their responsibility in democracies. And if you ask the question why scientists have a special role in democracy, then I think the focus has to be the fact that scientists as citizens have an obligation to bring whatever skills and insights they have and share it with the rest of the citizens in their societies and with humanity at large because we have the privilege of being given the time and the opportunity to devote to understanding the way the world works. And we have an obligation to share that understanding with everybody who's possibly interested in that so that they can make the best possible decisions concerning themselves and the world they live in and how that world is managed and governed by those with power over it. And when it comes to nuclear weapons, this is an especially important responsibility. So I've been very privileged all my life as a scientist to be able to try and combine my training in science, in physics, with the responsibility of citizenship to try and engage citizens and people everywhere in the debate about what nuclear weapons mean and how humanity can free itself from the scourge of nuclear war.